Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do your weekly love reading for the 19th through the 25th of March. Generally my weeklies are love readings, so I'm going to concentrate on love. I'm going to get one of these oracle cards and then we'll break into that tarot deck and see whatever comes up. So we will reveal this at the end of the reading. These de this deck doesn't shuffle the best. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Well, I guess I will. <sighs> so there's a death of an idea, okay? Because this is the death of an idea. You may need to, you may be reevaluating a situation that involves love. There could be a lack of communication, okay? There could be a dream that is dying or has died, okay? And you may just be really you know, going through a recovery period, or you are reevaluating, you know, where you want to head in love, what you want to do, where you want to offer, that kind of thing. Here there is a lack of communication and a lack of compromise, a lack of working together as a team, lack of teamwork. This is second chances, okay? So there could be some sort of reconciliation or this is a, a, an awakening, okay? Some of you may be waking up to something. This can also signify forgiveness. Okay, so there could be you know, this right here is, this could be the is trouble. This could be trouble in a commitment, or it could be even the end of a commitment. And this could be rejecting an offer, okay? This could be rejecting an offer of love or rejecting an offer, period. This is um, not receiving love, perhaps. Maybe you're not feeling loved or you're not giving love. Could go either way. Either way, there's there's a lack of commitment here because there's a lack of communication too. There's a lack of teamwork here. Okay, there is. There is. And it's like, I deserve more. Somebody deserves more. They deserve some sort of communication or something. You know, and with the moon reverse, there's some fear here. And this is also a reality check. Somebody, I feel like there is some sort of wake-up call. And somebody is now being forced to accept the reality of a situation. Somebody has given up. They're no longer investing in a situation. Somebody has given up in regards to a commitment and love. And it feels like you have a new opportunity. Okay? This is bringing you growth. And maybe you've grown. Okay? Because this is growth here. It's an opportunity for growth. So whatever this is that you're reevaluating and thinking about and contemplating you know, what you deserve, what you want to give, where you want to go in regards to a commitment. Whatever has happened, you have grown. You have evolved. You have. You have. There's been a lack of teamwork, a lack of communication, but somebody may want a reconciliation or a second chance. That could be you or the person you're dealing with. And it feels as though there's been some sort of uh, epiphany or awakening you know, that has, um, that you have obtained through growth. Something has hindered the success. Something has hindered the success. And I think that whatever this is, you know, it's really caused a lot of thought. I think that you guys have done a lot of thinking, thinking, thinking about, you know, this is somebody who lacks confidence, um, is self-centered, 
Okay, this is a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a self-centered energy. This is also somebody who lacks energy. You could have been, you could, there could be a lack of communication. This person, when she is in reverse, does not communicate. Absolute silent treatment. Very uh, ruthless as far as... Um, Cannot communicate when she's in the reverse. It's like you can't even communicate with this person. So there could, this is a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I feel like there could be an end in, you know, happiness with this person. Perhaps you are deciding that you don't even want to talk to them. You don't want to be together with this person because they are, they lack skills okay they lack skills to communicate they're lazy i mean i'm telling you what it means in reversed this person has very low energy they're like a oh, cry baby wah 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 i'm just telling you when they're in reverse they're just like they can't even get out of their own tracks so i feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very much you know it might have just been sexual maybe they came because this is sexual it's in reverse. Maybe they were just coming after you for sex, but they weren't planning on offering you anything else. That's what it looks like because there's a lack of investment in a commitment. There was, there was, they lack self-respect. Maybe they didn't respect you. I feel like there was somebody that you were involved with, with that wasn't, you probably were trying to look for love and they were looking for sex and that's about it. And it feels like this is very disappointing. It is very disappointing because you were excited. This was exciting, right? Right? I mean, you were excited about this new offer of love, this new potential romance. But it feels like this just led, led to disappointment. Okay? And now this, is how, this has brought you growth. It has. It has brought you growth in regards to another situation. And I feel like you are giving up on somebody that is... was taking advantage of you this is taking advantage of you you were ta you have given up on somebody that was taking advantage of you even though it was very exciting at first you know it was very alluring i think this person they came in and they were very beautiful and they were probably very sexy and they said all the right things and they were just you know looking for a sexual whatever they there's no love here you were offering love yes but where's the rest of it that's not here, okay? There was no victory to be had here because this person is very self-centered. Very self-centered. And I feel like you are now acting on your hunches to let go of this um, person who was taking advantage of you. It was kind of like a reckless act. You know, and I feel like you are not even going to give any energy to it because... It's, you don't need to carry this shit around with you, okay? Whatever this is, I feel like you are, it was a burden. Somebody has, has brought about some burdens, you know, they've... It's some kind of, I mean, the wheel is a cycle. And it's destiny. This all happened to teach you something. It did, this was a lesson. This was some sort of lesson. I think you have, you know, you've dealt with somebody that is, has totally opened your eyes. Because this is the old eye opener. This is the eye opener. And I feel like the, now there's a change of course. There's a change of, change of, <laughs> if I can even talk. There's a change of course because... Of this person that has come into your life and opened your eyes. Perhaps. Let me see. This is, this is a marriage. Okay. This is a marriage. This is a commitment. This is the sign of Taurus. Huh. This is good luck. It's on its way. The wheel is going to spin in your favor. This is what this is. This is good luck. is on its way. The wheel is going to spin in your favor. 
in regards to because of the faith, because of the commitment, because of the belief. There could be, what the hell is this? There was a lack of appreciation. Lack of appreciation. This is also, you know, a lack of realizing in regards to a commitment. This is an offer of love. You're un this is unable to shed the past. Unable to let go of the past. Hmm. This is lack of awareness. This is you've been duped. You've been tricked by somebody who is very cunning and sexy. Cunning. This is cunning, but this is cunning and sexy as well. And it has really opened your eyes. Uh-huh. Yep. And I think, you know, I think it, whatever this is, you know, this person that you were dealing with, and I think it's this person, they lacked, they didn't want to put any work into this. They didn't. And with this magician card, it's like, but it's reversed. Okay? You have been tricked. You have been tricked by somebody. That's what this means. And now you don't even want to put any energy. It's like, I'm done. I'm not going to give you my energy to hell with you. No. No, I'm looking for a commitment here. Hierophant is commitment. It is a sign of Taurus, but it is commitment. So I feel like you guys are looking for a commitment. And whoever you were with, they were looking for sex. And it's opened your eyes that, holy shit, I've just been used. You know, yeah, this is, a, this is, the, this is an awakening. This is an eye opener as well. This is an awakening and this is an awakening. You have seen some truth. Some truth has come about and now you're moving away from it. You're moving away from something that there was nothing left. There wasn't there was no commitment there. You may be moving in a direction and offering love or in a different direction. Okay? Now, this is a reconciliation. This is, so I don't know what this is, but this is offering love in a different direction after uh, some sort of disappointment that really opened your eyes. And it's coming out of darkness. It's like I, I'm starting to see the light. I mean, that's what the card means. So it appears that you may be communicating. Maybe you're going to text or send an email or whatever because this is communication. And it's usually text or call or email in regards to something that you haven't been able to let go of. This is an obsession. This right here is manipulative energy. This is the devil you could be dealing with. I mean, we have all the signs here, so don't hold it to any sign. But I feel as though there's been some manipulation here. There's been some lies. There's been some deceit. And there's been some lust. This could also be materialism. Holding on to money. Holding on to things that you don't need. I'm just saying what this means. This is some kind of bond. This, there could be a karmic bond here. Because this is an obsession and this is an obsession. I think there is. I think this is a karmic bond. That you're unable to let go of. This is clinging to the past. You're unable to free yourself and sever the ties with somebody from your past. <laughs> Because there's an undeniable pull. Even though I believe that, you know, you may have dealt with somebody else that completely hit and run. I think that, you know, there was a situation where somebody was cold and withdrawn Unable to communicate.
and there's been a lot of observation. I think there's been, it's, you've either been watching somebody or they've been watching you. There's observation here. There's challenges. Something has made you very unhappy. Okay, there's a lot of unhappiness here. So you could be very emotional this week as you're going through these going through this period of growth, even though you may not see it as growth, I think that you guys are going through some sort of recuperation, recovery after being taken advantage of. And seeing the light, I see the light now, I see the truth. I feel like you may be unhappy with the loss, the decisions that you've made or that somebody has made. There's a bit of unhappiness here. And there's definitely like online stalking, okay? There is observation, a want to communicate. I need to communicate, but I can't communicate. Now, this could be you or the other person. Um, there could be, you know, so you could decide to communicate because this is an offer of love or they could decide to communicate. It's an offer of, of uh, relationship growth, perhaps, with somebody from your past because we have the Six of Cups in this Judgment card. It could be somebody from your past. But I think that what's happened here is you guys have had some major epiphany um, that has come th from another person. Okay, I think there's been a person that has come into your life and opened your eyes. And brought some chaos and some disorganization. Okay, this right here is the sign of Aries. So I think this person was absolutely very self-centered. It's reversed. They were only focused on materialistic things, okay, and sex. They weren't focused on having a family or really being together or any of that, okay? They were, they were focused on their own agenda and their own agenda only, okay? So I feel like you were dealing with somebody that, you know, that came in. They were a lesson. They were a lesson, and I feel as though they have opened your eyes to love. Now, there could be a, a, a new union, or this was a union that you thought it was going to be a union, but it didn't work out. There could be an X here. This, this When the Queen of Swords comes up reverse, there's an X. Okay, so there could be an, uh, two people here that you, you know, that are in your life that you're thinking about. One could be the new person and this one could be the ex, could be any sign here. But I feel like you have a choice in love and I feel like there is a partnership here that there could be a soulmate connection with that devil card and this two of cups, okay? There could be a soulmate connection that you just can't get over. And it feels like you, you know, you're being called to have no fear. Have no fear, but you're letting fear take over at this point because of relationship problems in the past and you don't want any mental conflict it's like no I can't have any mental conflict in my life at this time but you're unable to start anything new elsewhere you're unable to start anything new so it feels like you have this fear of change and you're holding on to the past and it's getting old so it feels to me like this is a week where you come to some epiphany because another person hurts you. And I'm sorry. I think there's some sort of break in, in a relationship. Okay, there is. There's some kind of break in a relationship that really opens your eyes. Okay, the truth comes out because judgment is truth. There's some sort of happening where the truth comes out. And you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Ready for the card? Remember, this is for next week or the week after because time is fluid. I feel like you've been holding on to something that you just can't let go of. And even though you may be trying to offer love elsewhere, it doesn't look like it's successful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry. This is there's a death. There's, there's a death up here. Okay, we have death here. This is this is many decks as a death. So it's the death of an idea. 
you know, and recuperating from it. And I think that what's happened here is there was a, there could have been a, an encounter with another person that didn't work out. And it's opened your eyes. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Have faith, Pisces. I think you're, you are, even though this is reversed, this is making progress upright. And I know that it's reversed and it says you're not making progress, but I think you are making progress. This is no victory and success, lack of respect. Now, this could have been this other person, you know, that was using you for sex, okay? So, this this is lack of respect. So, and this is very sexual energy, and this is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, somebody who's super self-conceited, I mean, self-centered, in the reverse, okay? So, she, she's just not concentrated. She doesn't really have energy to carry anything through in reverse, Okay, so I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, no, this is a man or a woman, by the way, that you were dealing with somebody that was, they didn't respect your boundaries, they didn't respect you, they were only out for this. That's what I have, Pisces. Talk to you later.